We, we have the, the um, voter registration process that is going on, and um, it's, it has been slow. I mean, very few people are registering. Uh, Zeki is saying that they are targeting about 7 million people uh, countrywide, but we've seen that the first two weeks, you know, people are complaining about the, you know, that the Zeki people are very slow. They take about 20 minutes or so to register each person, and a number of people have not been inspired to go and register. What do you think needs to be done? for people to really come out in their thousands uh, to go and register. How important is this process and what kind of message should be told to the people that, you know, this is important, you need to actually make sure that you leave whatever you're doing and go and register. Well, the greatest tragedy of the past 37 years has been, it has been to undermine uh, uh, people's faith in, in the democratic system. They are no longer believing in the change uh, that may be ushered in with, uh, through elections. So elections are no longer the issue for them. They are more worried about uh, getting food on the table. Uh, they do not extend their desires to the level of, uh, of participation uh, at the level of an election. Uh, so what you are seeing is a, a population that is really deep in apathy. Uh, the participation not just in in the election, in the electoral processes themselves, but also on a day-to-day -day basis. You call a strike, people would not show up. You call a demonstration, a few people will, will turn up. It is because people are no longer really certain that the processes that are established by the Constitution to ensure that our democratic system works do work. Uh, they no longer f have faith on that one. And I, I don't think it would be easy really to inspire people to go and uh, register as voters. The only people that, that can do that is the, the opposition themselves, if, if they can mobilize their members, is civil society, is the church. By convincing people that there is a stake, there are bread and butter issues in an election. It's not just about an X that you put in a box, but it is the, the, the bread and butter issues that you are addressing through that X. If you are not happy with the, 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 the poverty, the misery in the country, if we, you are not happy about the observance of human rights, uh, the human rights, the level of human rights violations in the country, then you can only express yourself through casting a vote. So we need a lot of work around that to ensure that the people know that whether they want ZANU-PF in power or some other party to be in power, the election is the only process that is established by the constitution by which they can do so. So can we